season. Well, all of that drama in the offseason, how does that translate? Itong opening game ng Ginebra, second game naman para sa Petron. Well, you gotta put it behind you. Nice thing about it is that drama is tapos na yun. It's been fixed. There were changes in the coaching staff of both teams. And that was, uh, hindi lang ano, coach eh, pati mga assistant coach nagkapalitan. But more importantly, is that both teams look good in terms of their lineup. Of course, Al uh, Coach Al is gone. He's taken a lead. He's actually in the States right now with his family. Uh, appointed as a new coach is Coach Ato. Na ironically, galing sa Petron. May bago rin mga assistant coach, which is George, uh, Coach George and Coach Boise. Coach George also coming from Petron just last conference. On the other hand, um, uh, Austin Rasella was reassigned to San Miguel Coffee. Coach G will be is, is the head coach right now. And uh, ito natin, bago rin ng uh, mga assistant ni Coach G para dito sa Petron. Ang huli nga nagpa-champion dito sa Petron, ay yan pong si Coach Ato Agustin. Kaya naman meron na talagang pinagsamahan si Coach Ato at Coach G. You know, and, and you look at the pedigree, Coach Ato, former coach of Petron, and like you said, he, he, he led the boosters to their last championship, was a PBA MVP as well in his playing days. Coach G naman, ito yung una niyang head coaching job. And he was actually the lead assistant for Coach Ato for two years. And um, actually, yung last coaching job ni Coach G, ay nandun pa galing ng Lasal. Just last summer, he was actually with the De La Salle University Green Archers. Ito si Coach G, ang tagal na rin natin nakikita nga na ko. Coach dito sa BBA, usually, pagka natotrown out, lalo na nung na kay Coach Yeng, giyaw pa siya. Kaya naman, uh, kilala naman natin ang kalidad na ni Coach G, Coach Ato. Mati testing. Ngayon, eh, nakalipat na nga po ng kampo uh, sa barangay na po siya. Starting lineups now being introduced. Uh, L.A. Tenorio, Mark Aguiwa, Dior Lohorn, Willie Wilson and Chris Ellis will go up against Alex Kapagnot, Ronald Tubit, Jun Marpardo, Armin Santos, and Elijah Milsa. And it is the white shirts of Barangay Inebra who wins the tap. L. A. Tenorio, fresh off his stint with the national team, starting para sa Barangay Inebra. Immediately they go to the post dun sa kanilang import na si Lohorn na ipit nga lang ni Jun Marpardo. Gagiwa to Tenorio, four on the shot clock para sa Inebra. L. A. bothered on the shot. Milsa para sa rebound. Nakita si Santos na sa kabilang dulo. And Arwin will miss. Tenorio cross court papunta kay Kagiwa. The spark almost lost it. Napunta kay Wilson. They go to Chris Ellis. And those are the first three points of this game. You can see both teams running up and down. They're very, both teams are very athletic. That's what we're going to see a lot of in terms of the transition ng dalawang team. Petron looking for Fajardo dun sa ilalim. Hindi nga lang niya makuha yung pasa galing kay Tuwit. Pareho sila nag-sorry sa isa't isa. Gotta be a little bit more patient, patient if, if you're Ronald Tubit, Tubit kasi ang liit naman ang pumapantay dito kay Junmar. Lohorn sa poste, pangalawang sukat niya dito kay Junmar. Yes, time to get some help. Very early on, you look at the way that uh, your Lohorn plays, it looks like he's gonna be more of an inside guy pa poste-poste. Hirap pa nabi niya na, 6'5 ang ating height limit as Melsa. It's a teardrop, 6'5 height limit, pero marunong maglaro sa poste, nakuha nila. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and um, you know, because yun talaga yung setup, eh, diba? you have to get lucky in terms of uh, the need of the import and what you'll be getting. So back to back basket uh, for D.R. Lohar. First impression sa atin, ano ako, napansin ko, may patience kanina nung inatake si Junmar na saraduan, hindi na muwersa. And now he is starting to get his shots as Ilsap overshoots. Fajardo is fouled. Does look like not to be the greatest of athletes. He's built very well. Very. He doesn't look like uh, you think uh, um, the guy that would jump out of the gym. He's he, kumbaga mas uh, yung mga galaw niya mas uh, uh, tipid o hindi masyadong matataas sa mga talon. Ganyan. Kapagnot getting his first two points last time around. Then si Kapagnot came off the bench. Ngayon is starter na siya. Para kay Coach G. Abinilla. 7-4 ang nasa ating talaan. That post. You can see that that's really where D.R. Lohorn is working. Ellis once again looking for Lohorn. This time Fajardo closes out on him. Forcing that air ball. 
Kapag not on the move to a ceiling, Junmar Fajardo, the floater off the turnaround doesn't work. Get a good shot because you get in, get both feet in the paint for Junmar Fajardo. As Mark Kagiwa gets the, his first two points, Junmar Fajardo in 28 minutes of action, 12 points, 14 rebounds, Jason. Yes. Solid performance. Yes, but did not shoot well. You know, if you're a big guy, you have to be shooting over 50%. Only shot 33% in that game. But here right now, he's 50% one out of two. Walang makakatapat dito sa lima ng Ginebra ngayon kay Junmar Fajardo as LA lines it up. Couldn't dial it in. Milsap para sa rebound. The blue shirts on the attack. Milsap looking to go coast to coast is fouled. At kung si Mark Kagiwa yun, ikalawa na niya yan. Mukhang yung 90 day layoff o 91 days to be exact na itong Inebra. Tignan mo si Mark Kagiwa, parang fresh na fresh game, parang walang iniinda. Hindi katulad na nakita natin siya last conference. He's one of those guys that are very excited to be back and, and be back healthy. Iba talaga yung paraglalaro ka na wala kang nangharamdaman sa katawan mo. Millsap misses on the second. 9-7 ang nasa ating talaan. Dalawa pa rin ang abante ng Barangay Hineb. LA lost his footing. Turnover is completed here. Millsap all the way. Has answered back with his blazing run. Tabla na ang ating labaran. Nine apiece. As we take another look at that Millsap steal and finish. Ang mga itabla ang ating bakbaka. You guys are still watching PBA, PBA here on IBC. Mula ng madraft si LA, hindi pa siya nakakamis ng kahit anong laro. Tonight actually marks his 329th game na wala pa siyang nanumimiss. Nakakatatlong practices pa lang siya pero sinabi niya, hindi daw iyon dahilan para hindi maglaro ngayong gabi. He's a professional player and that's how it will always be. Balik sa inyo. Grabe ano, ang nilampasan ni LA, Dante Gonzalo. Pero yung, uh, because actually yun ang the original Iron Man nung panahon natin, yun napaparot natin. Kasi bago na alam ko, meron pang tinatawag na Iron Man. May original pa dating na ako. Last O'Horn now has 6 points. So number 1 dyan sa listahan yan, 500 plus, kulang-kulang 600. The Captain Alvin Patrimonio, pumapangalawa ngayon si Tenorio. And then Gonzalo is third, and if we're not mistaken, Ren Ren Ritualo was just one game behind Dante Gonzalo. Munti ka niya rin mabreak yun eh, no? It's a testament to how Ellie takes care of himself because even if um, uh, there are days that, you know, even the players that don't play a lot of minutes, they're not sasaktan pa rin yan. Ang hirap nun ha, talagang wala siyang na-miss ni isang laro mula nung siya'y na-draft as Gohard is now showing us his range. Hindi lang pala sa loob, Jason. Yeah, it's very surprising. You, you know, it seems that when you look at it, the way he plays, eh, hindi ba siya too suave, you know? Matapos ng 9-4 run ng Petron to tie the game, 5 to nothing laban ang easy to play ng Barangay Ginebra. As Petron turns it over once again, Chris Lutz, or Doug Kramer rather, papasok na para dito kay Junmar Fajardo. Going back to yung uh, streak ni LA, no? kahit mag-cover ng game, ang hirap gawin nun, 329 na sunod-sunod. <laughs> hindi ka magkakasakit. Nakaupo ka lang, ta tayo nakaupo lang dito, siya yung nakikipagpakpakang pa dun. Wilson to Lohorn, now he goes back inside. Kramer trying to stop him, Lohorn misses, Arwin Santos grabs that board. Goes out to Kramer, the baseline jumper, the bicep shot works! Douglas. And, and for Doug Kramer, that's the reason why he's here. He, he's more a more agile defender at the post, and also a guy that can stretch the floor because he has a decent 15-footer. Ngayon, makikipagpagpakan siya sa pala para ng katawan dito kay Lohorn. Hindi, hindi makatanggap ngayon. Ito ang import na Inebra. Puta pa yung abot na LA dito kay Millsap. And Inebra will have just 6 seconds to try and come up with a shot as we send it over to Eric. Komportable naman daw itong import ng Hinebra na si Dior Lohorn. Nakatulong na marami sa mga players ng barangay ang mula sa Amerika. So it wasn't difficult to bond. Aware din siya sa fanbase ng barangay. But doing his best to come in with a clear mind para hindi maapektuhan ng pressure and expectations. Wala din daw siyang Twitter just so he could focus on the task at hand ng mas mabuti. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erica. Mukhang uh, ito si Chris Ellis worked on that jump shot in the offseason. As confident, medyo matalo sa mga tira niya sa labas. Ngayon, ang ganda ng lobo, no? Uh, it, it, it's a looper and uh, so far it worked for Ginebra. Oh. Doing well coming out that time out. We were 9-9 all before that 
time out, they come out with a 9 to 2 run. Silipin ulit natin, paano nga ba ginawa ng barangay ni Abrato? First, it was the looper from Chris Ellis. Tapos nakanakaw sila to sa ilalim. Beautiful pass from Kagiwa. Nakita si Wilson for the finger roll. Atin pagtutok. Dito kina Idol Samboy Lim and the rest of Barangay Nebra sa kanilang uh, pakikipagbakbakan sa Petron. Oh, yung mga... Rodriguez, as we take a look at this Kawasaki Rousing Fast Break. At ito nga yung kaninang pasa ni Kagiwa papunta kay Wilson. Brought to you by Rouser 135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. 18-11 is the score. Petron coming off their own timeout. At mukhang nagiging favorito ni Millsap, itong si Kramer sa pagbibigay ng mga assists. Good play coming, that, uh, coming out of that timeout. And also you can see that Millsap willing to share the basketball. Tenorio gets it over to Wilson. Back to Tenorio. Kabagno trying to keep in front of LA. Pumunta na naman sila kay Lohorn. Pilip itinutulak itong si Doug Kramer. No basket. Foul was way before the attempt. Kaltagan dito, Jim. Strength of Lohard. Tenorio in the lane. Gets it out to Kagiwa. And you can see Doug adjusting. Ngayon, malayo palang tinutulak niya na parang palayo. The Furious versus the Fearless. Nilamo ni Mark in defense ni Tubi doon. It's safe to say that uh, Mark Kagiwa is healthy once again. Bill Sapp to Tubi, gustong bumawi. Crossover din ang ginamit! Long to lang para dito kay Tubi, but just as pretty, Jason. If, if, if these two guys, eh kita mo, ngayon talaga pinapantayan na ng gusto ni Tubi. But that's what you see in the PBA. <laughs> And Tubi forced to give up that foul. Dahil makaka-easy to na, ito si Lohorn. Jay, ito na. It's one-on-one. -on -one. First, it's Mark Kagiwa. Iwan si Ronald Tubit. That's a three. But you know what? Ronald Tubit, not a slouch himself. Crossover. Enough space. One point each. Very, very nice from both gentlemen on the floor. Marshall Lasseter checking into the game for the first time. Pagpapahingin si Arwin Santos. Coach G going with three guards now with Lasseter, Kabagnot, and Tubid. Sasamahan ni na Millsap and Kramer. Nakakatapat si na Lohorn, Wilson, Kagiwa, Ellis, and Tenorio. High looper doesn't work. Tenorio looks up court. LA through a Wilson pick. Still runs into traffic. Di may pagpag. Ito si Kabagnot. Kagiwa na naman with Kramer on top of him. Pulls up for the 18-footer. Couldn't get the bounce. May kitapat at kalahati na lang natitira sa ating first quarter. Kagiwa with a slap. Kagiwa with a leather. Puts it up for Ellis. Sobra lang impasa. At hindi ma-recover ng Barangay Nebra. Good idea right there, but a little bit too much. In terms of yung para dun sa pasa ni Mark Kagiwa, you can see that he's apologizing. 23-15 is the score. Ito na nga, yung pinakamalaking lamang ng Ginebra sa ballgame na ito. Millsap from the wing. Doesn't work. Kaiwa taps it over. Papunta kay Lowhorn. Tenorio, tinatawag si Wilson. Nakasil na kontra kay Millsap. Di makuha yung stretch reverse. Millsap to the corner. Last hit third. Linipat pa sa kaliwang kamay. I think that's the strength of this Petron squad. You look at that off-guard, small forward position. Depth-wise, marami yung lalit nila. Kita mo, meron pa silang lat. Mapasok pa. Meron pang yo dyan na hindi masyadong ginagamit. As Ellis runs into a double team. Ito na nga yung lats. Papasok na. And you look at it. Even Millsap can play that guard position. It almost feels like they're overloaded in that spot. Tenorio to Lohorn. The 15-foot jumper is good. It's a dear Lohorn. Nabintatlong puntos na, Jason. Alam mo, yung mga tao dito, marinig mo sila, they're actually whispering because pag makita mo siya, hindi yung, ano, he doesn't give you that impression na magaling na ating, magaling na player. Pero so far, his shots have been falling. And like you said, already 13 points. 
huling pinaglaroan na ito yung sa Abel, ano, yung Saigon Heat. I wonder kung nagkasabayan pa sila ito ni Jai Reyes ng Talking Text. Kramer out to Kabagnot. The 19-footer doesn't work. Luan really filling up the stat sheets here. Tenorio directing traffic. Luan will offer the pick. Di naman ginamit. LA now will go through it. Hinahanap niya si Wilson. Tapped away by Milsa. That's good defense on the part of Pet Fun talking on that pick and roll. Kagiwa on the catch and shoot. Mark Kagiwa has seven points. And a combination of Mark Kagiwa as well as Lohorn already combining for 20 between them. Ellis slicing through. Or Millsap rather. My bad then. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Low horn na naman. Oh, spinning away from Kramer. Pati footwork, pinapakitaan tayo. So far, inside out. Kasi nakakatira na siya kanina sa labas. But uh, like you said, his footwork in the paint so far really there. And uh, Petron can't find a guy that can match up with him in terms of uh, on the defensive end. Tabag not. Couldn't bring it home. Nakita natin, ano, kahit yung barangay Hinebra faithful in attendance is still trying to make out, uh, make it out kung dapat bang uh, mahalin na kagad. Ito si Lohorn, katulad nung uh, pagmamahal nila kay Vernon Macklin nung nakaraan, ano? But you know, when you look at ito si Lohorn, it doesn't look like it's a highlight, highlight uh, waiting to happen. As Japet Aguilar is making his way to the score stable, palakpakan ng buong barangay sa loob ng Big Dome. Very nice ang salubong dito kay Japet Speaking of a highlight waiting to happen Ayan na, umakasok na nga Makakasabay niya dito si Urbis Tondo Lohorn, Kagiwa and Ellis Pasa ni Urbis Tondo Take it away by Lassiter Tumatak Oh, what a sidestep Super Marshall gets the finger roll No horn again. Ellis tried to keep it alive. Millsap on the move. Oh! oh! 